Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Recently, Capture One 12 is announced with native support for Fujifilm film simulations. And today, I'm going to compare the film simulations in Capture One to the actual film simulations produced by my Fuji X-T2. I captured some JPEGs using different film simulations with my Fuji X-T2. And I also captured the same raw file. And I'm going to apply the film simulation to that raw file and then compare that to the other JPEGs using different film simulations from the Fuji X-T2 and see how that compares. Now, before we jump into the video, I just want to mention that if you are interested in Capture One and you want to buy a Capture One software license, you can use Use the coupon code AMBCAI to save some money. Check out more information and tutorials in the description below. Now we have six photos. The first photo is the raw file straight off the camera and I'm going to apply film simulation to this raw file and the other five photos are JPEGs coming out of my Fuji X-T2 using different film simulations. For example, this one is Acros, this one is Classic Chrome, this one is sepia, this one is standard, and this one is velvia. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply film simulations to this raw file and compare to the rest of the photos here. Now, let's first select the raw file and the standard film simulation. And what you can do is you can go to this base characteristics tool and go to this curve drop down menu. And if, if a Fujifilm camera is detected, then you can use Fujifilm film simulation. And in this case, I'm going to select Provia, which is the standard film simulation. And now I'm going to compare the raw file on the left-hand side and the JPEG coming out of my Fuji X-T2 on the right-hand side. Overall, I think the color, the contrast, the tone are very similar, almost identical, which means the Fujifilm, which means the film simulation is pretty good in Capture One. Now let's move on to the next film simulation. I'm going to select the raw file and Velvia. And currently uh, the raw file is on the left hand side and it is still the standard film simulation. And as you can see on the right hand side is Velvia. The color looks uh, much more saturated. So I'm going to go to the curve drop down menu and select Velvia film simulation. And now these two photos uh, are very, very similar now. And the colors are much saturated now on the raw file. Now I'm going to move on to classic Chrome. Again, on the left hand side is the raw file and on the right hand side is classic Chrome. Many people like this film simulation. Now I'm going to change the film, uh, the film simulation to classic Chrome. And these two photos are, I would say, identical, which means uh, the film simulation works pretty good in Capture One for classic Chrome. I think that's pretty good. Now let's take a look at the raw file and Acros and change the film simulation to Acros. And again, they are very, very similar, which means it works very well in Capture One. Last but not least, I'm going to select the raw file and sepia. And I'm going to change that to sepia. Again, compare these two, I think they are very, very similar or even identical, which means it's pretty good. I would say the film simulations in Capture One are pretty good. So if you are a Fuji user, if you use Capture One, now you have all the film simulations for your Fuji RAW files. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click on the thumbs up button below. And don't forget, if you are going to buy a Capture One software license, you can use the coupon code AMBCAI to save some money. If you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please click on my profile photo to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can check out my latest video right here. All right, guys, until next time, bye for now.